Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released OOBE out-of-box experience updates, which are KB5065847 for Windows 11 version 24H2, KB5065848 for Windows Server 2025, and KB5065813 for Windows 11 version 22H2 and 23H2. And just posting this quick video just to let you know in case you would be setting up a new device because your OOBE is the process you go through on a clean installation of Windows 11. Now, Microsoft has this to say. The update improves the out-of-box experience, OOBE. This update applies only to the Windows OOBE process and is available only when OOBE updates are installed. So this is nothing you're going to get as a monthly cumulative update if you already have Windows 11 installed. And unlike cumulative features or security patches, these OOBE updates don't list detailed change logs. And Microsoft doesn't give us too much information at all. Instead, they act as so-called behind-the-scenes enablers making sure devices receive security patches, driver updates, and bug fixes, and so on, while going through the initial setup. And Microsoft says that the updates are mandatory, so you can't decline them during OOBE. And there's also another benefit of these OOBE updates. If a newer build of Windows 11 is already available, then it can pull it during the last stage of the setup process, which means that a brand new PC may boot for the first time already running the latest release. Which means you won't have to go to your settings, Windows Update, and then start checking for updates after the new installation of Windows 11. So I suppose whichever way you look at it, it could be a good or a bad thing. Maybe you don't want the latest update because of various issues. Or on the other side, it can save you a whole lot of time by getting all those updates done before the actual installation has actually finished and you boot into your fresh copy or your fresh OS of Windows 11. And just on a side note, the updates are applied automatically during the setup if the device is online. And something else to take note of is that Microsoft says that installation speed obviously depends on both hardware and internet performance. So just take note of that. So those three OOBE updates are now available and just wanted to let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.